Hello Primary 5, how are you today? I'm Sara, I'm teaching science and today we're going to talk about protecting the ecosystem. As you can see, this is an island called Palawa Island. Palawa Island, like any island, has water and land. On any island Primary 5, we can observe that what is happening on land affects what is happening in the marine environment. What is the meaning of marine environment? The life under the water or the ecosystem under the water. People in Palawa use different conservation programs to protect the marine environment and to keep it healthy and well and to keep and protect its resources by using or by creating well-designed protected marine environments. So they use programs to conserve or to protect or to keep the marine environment under the water well and healthy. So what is the meaning of creating well-designed, protected marine environment? People in Palawa Island control the human activities on land to keep the protected marine environment from pollution. So they keep the land healthy and well to protect the marine environment from pollution. By avoiding throwing waste materials in ocean, when they keep the land clean, they will keep the marine environment clean by avoiding throwing waste material on the ocean. Number two, fishers mustn't, mustn't overfishing the coral reef to conserve the marine environment. So they are fishing, but not over, okay? Fishers mustn't overfishing the coral reefs to conserve the marine environment. So when I say that the people in Palau Island conserve the marine environment by creating well-designed protected marine environment you will see number one people control the human activities on land to keep protected marine environment from pollution by avoiding throwing waste material on ocean number two fishers mustn't overfishing the coral reef to conserve the marine environment how does the ecosystem change affect the food web primary five when the organism are removed or the rule in the ecosystem it changes, this ecosystem could be destroyed or collapsed so the food web would change. So when the animal died or moved to another place or they have been eaten by another animal, this ecosystem could be destroyed, collapsed. You can't see this ecosystem anymore. So food web would change. What would happen if there is a gentle rain in the desert. Can you see what happens in this picture? In the desert, you can see green plants like cactus, right? So if there is a gentle rain in the desert, the desert ecosystem may be improved or be better. And the rainwater will feed the plants, the producer, like the cactus, which will feed the organisms like other animals. Okay, so what would happen if there is heavy rain in the desert? If you can look in this picture, there is a heavy rain in the desert. What would happen if there is a heavy rain in the desert? The desert ecosystem may be harmed as the water of the heavy rain will cause flooding like this picture. You can see the flooding in this picture which will destroy the ecosystem. So the flooding or the heavy rain will destroy this ecosystem. What would happen if there is a drought and all the grass dies? Can you see what happens in this picture? The food web in the ecosystem may be destroyed as the plants will die and also the organisms will die in that ecosystem. As a drought, that means there is no water. So when there is no water, plants wouldn't grow. So other plants that feed on plants will die as they can't find their food source. What would happen? What would happen if there are many top predators in the food web? As you can see, the top predator like lion, like tiger, they are top predator. When there are many top predators in the food web, that will cause the other organisms in the food web may be harmed as the top predator will eat all the organisms. So you can't see any more other animal or other organisms. 
So the top predator like lion, like tiger, like shark, they are the predators or the consumers that exist at the top of the food chain, such as lions, tigers, shark, and crocodiles. So now I'm going to talk about the marine food webs primary five. As you can see in this picture, you can see shark, butterfly, fish, sea star, coral reef, clam, zooplankton, algae, parrotfish, and sea urchin, and triggerfish. If you look close to this picture, you can see that the algae are the producer under the water. They are the plant under the water. They make their own food and they are the producers. So algae here produce their own food. If you look close, you can see that the zooplankton, the clam and the sea urchin feed on the algae. You can see the arrow from the algae to the clam and from the algae to the zooplankton and from the algae to the sea urchin. So zooplankton, clam and sea urchin considered as first consumer. The sea star here, you can see the arrow from the claim to the sea star. So the sea star feeds on the claim and that means that the sea star considered as secondary consumer. You can see that the coral reef feeds on the zooplankton. So coral reef here considered as secondary consumer to the zooplankton. Also butterfly fish and trigger fish feeds on coral reef. So here Butterfly fish and trigger fish considered as tertiary consumer to the coral reef. Super! You can see that the parrot fish feeds on the coral reef and the sea urchin. So here parrot fish considered as tertiary consumer. The shark feeds on the sea star and the three different fish. So also shark considered as tertiary consumer primary five. From this picture primary 5, we can conclude that in any food web, the energy in the overall system remains as the same. That means only 10% of this energy transfer between living organisms when an organism feeds on the other. So when the snake feeds on the frog and when the hawk feeds on the snake, that means that only 10% from the energy transfer from the snake to the hog and from the frog to the snake and the 90% of this energy is left to the decomposers which return this energy back to the soil when this animal die 90% of this energy back to the soil again so only 10% primary 5 from the energy transfer between living organisms and 90% back to the soil due to the decomposers. So that means the energy in the overall system remains as the same. You can see here the desert food with primary five. You can see the eagle, fox, snake, rabbit, mouse, grass. What would happen primary five to the rabbits or the hares if all the grass were removed from the previous food web? Can you imagine if there is no grasses or plants in this desert? What would happen to the mouse and the rabbit? They can't find their own food. They can't live without food, right? So if they couldn't find any grasses in this desert, they would die or they would searching for their food in another place. So rabbits wouldn't find any type of food. Therefore, they would die or remove to another place searching for their food, right? Okay, what would happen? To the eagles if all the grass were removed from the previous food web can you imagine at first the eagles wouldn't be affected but when rabbits die the eagles would have less food at first they can find their food but when the grasses are removed the rabbits wouldn't find their food they would die so the snake wouldn't find their food they would die also the fox wouldn't find their food they would die so the eagles have less food. So what is the meaning of creating well-designed protected marine environment primary five? Super! That means that people control the human activities on land to keep the protected marine environment from pollution. How? By avoiding throwing waste material on ocean. Also fishers mustn't overfishing the coral reef to conserve the marine environment. 
Okay, number two, what would happen if there are many top predators in the food web? Super, big love for yourself. The other organisms in the food web may be harmed as the top predator will eat all the organisms. This was our lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Goodbye.